Greetings, friends, in the name of our Lord and personal Savior. Uh, as we continue our praise series, let's bow our heads for prayer. Our kind and loving Father, we come before thy throne of grace and mercy. We ask for the gift of the Holy Spirit as we shall open your word. May he give us understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A right mindset, a positive mindset, is medicine for the body. But harboring thoughts of anger, harboring jealousy, may be like cancer to the bones. It is a fact in life that others will go ahead, get married before you, get jobs before you. It is a known fact that some will be academically gifted and rise higher before you. But your time is coming. If you harbor jealousy, it can affect your prayer life. Our topic today is entitled, This Kind, This Kind. We shall consider a text in the book of Mark chapter 9. Jesus selected three disciples and went up a mountain where he was transfigured. He spent the whole night with the three disciples while the nine disciples were left at the foot of the mountain. They remained complaining. They were jealous. Why did God choose the three and not us? So at daybreak in the morning, when Jesus and the three disciples came down from the mountain, there was commotion at the foot of the mountain. A man had brought his son who was demon possessed and asked the disciples to pray for him to be delivered from demon possession. They prayed the whole night, called the name of Jesus the whole night, but the demon could not leave the young man. So as Jesus approached, the scribes were now mocking the disciples. The scribes were now humiliating them, saying, your God has limited power. But let me tell you, friends, God has unlimited power. It was not because of God. It was because of the attitude of the disciples. They approached prayer, yet they, um, their minds were full of jealousy, and God could not work with such minds. So the demon could not be cast out from the young man. So thank God, the man then saw Jesus, came at the feet of Jesus, and begged Jesus, Son of David, help me to cast this demon out from my son. And Jesus asked him a question. What happens to him when this demon gets hold of him? The man narrated the story. It throws him into the fire. It throws him into the water. In other words, this demon wanted him dead. The devil wants you dead before you repent of your sins. The devil wants you dead before you are converted to become a Christian. For many years, cried the man, since childhood, my child has been suffering. And Jesus, who is all powerful, cast the demon out. We shall read in Mark chapter 9, verse 28 and verse 29. And when he had come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? So he said to them, this kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. So the disciples came to Jesus privately asking him, Jesus, we have experience in casting out demons. You gave us power to cast out demons. But why did we fail to cast this demon out this time around? And Jesus said to them, this kind can come out through prayer and fasting. Fasting is an act of humility. Fasting is an act of submitting to God. So you need to submit to God. You need to humble yourself before God. You need to have faith in God for your prayer to be answered. So the disciples approached this prayer 
with the wrong attitude. They approached this prayer using their previous experience. But God did not answer their prayers. I know in our churches, their prayer and fasting programs designed to help the church to grow spiritually. But do you have your own prayer and fasting life? Have you designed your own prayer and fasting life so that you are delivered from the power of the evil one? I don't know what is troubling you in your life. I don't know what the devil has cast in your life. I don't know what is holding you prisoner in your life. I don't know the addictions that you have. I don't know the temptations that you are fighting for many years. You have sent your prayers to pastors. Yes, they have prayed and God has answered their prayers. But this kind, this kind of trouble, this kind of challenge that you are facing now demands that you cooperate with the heaven, demands that you do your part and God will do the rest. You see, when we pray and fast, we are cooperating with the heaven. When we pray and fast, we forego certain things. We delay gratification. We can pray and fast and deny ourselves food, the best food for a certain period so that God may see our submission and our humility. You may fast certain things, fast social media, Fast friends, fast things that you do on a daily basis and focus on the prayer and fasting so that your prayer can be answered. Jesus is giving us a promise, a powerful promise that certain challenges, certain troubles that we are facing in life that have tormented us for years need a different approach. A prayer and fasting program will give you the desired results. We read in the book of Daniel chapter 10, when Daniel wanted to understand the spiritual things, he went into a prayer and fasting program for 21 days. Daniel chapter 10 verse 3, he fasted and the Lord revealed wonderful things to prophet Daniel. We also read about Cornelius in Acts chapter 10 verse 4, prayed and fasted for four days. And the Lord answered his prayer. We also read about Jesus in Matthew chapter 4 verse 10. Prayed and fasted for 40 days and 40 nights to gain spiritual strength, spiritual stamina to face the world. And as we know, Jesus had the power to cast demons. Jesus had the power to deliver those who were bound in sickness, bound in sin, because he received stamina through prayer and fasting. Here is a promise that we have been given by Jesus. Through prayer and fasting, this kind of problem, this challenge you are facing in your life can only come out if you change your attitude. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. Let's pray. Our kind and loving Father, Thank you for this teaching. Help us not to use our past experience, but to approach prayer with a different attitude of humility and submission so that our prayers may be heard in heaven. This we humble ask in Jesus' name. Amen.